And um, apparently that inspired the Vans like sneaker designers to incorporate that the design that students were, you know, um, doing on their shoes. Right. And that, and now we have those like Vans check shoes that. Yeah, everybody is doing these. <laughs> Yeah, so so it apparently the idea started from like a few students, yeah, right. who drew on the sneaker, like yeah. In that, so you guys could actually kind of like design your own shoes and then become as big as Vans. Have you heard of Vans or not? It's like skateboard shoes, right? Is it is it right? Yes. Yeah. Right. But I mean, it's it's worn as fashion as well. I guess. Mm, yeah. 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 Whether you skateboard or not, you still kind of wear it like for fun. <laughs> it's very comfortable, I must say. Yeah, yeah, and quite lasting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So can you share with us then what uh what are you doing today with like everyone? Yeah, so um it might be difficult because and and it's also <laughs> quite difficult for me. So please don't worry. Um yeah, so we're gonna make um sneaker sculptures. Right. Using um like recyclable materials, whatever you have at home. Okay. Um, and so what are some of the materials that you have like um used or you are going to use today? Should everybody like just hold up like what materials do we have around us? What are kind of good materials? Um cardboard is useful, like right. So yeah. like the brown cardboard this is the shoe that I made in like during the practice okay. session. <laughs> yeah. So like cardboard is quite easy. The bottom is just cardboard. Because they're hard, but they're also flexible when you okay. bend them. Okay. And the uh, masking tape is also yes, good. got that. Everybody got tape. Tape is like the best material. Or you can just use typical tape. Yeah, well. you can just use masking tape or just like transparent, clear, sticky tape. Okay, what else? Um, washi tape. Like I have a whole bunch at TV stuff. Yeah. So, Double sided tape for me. Fun. Um, paper. Um, I got more the, paper. Oh, packaging. Packaging as well. I have some boxes. Plastic bags. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, scissors, cutter. Yep. Um, I've got pencil. Strings. I have stapler. <laughs> yeah, yes. anything, anything that you feel would help. Yes. Cool. Okay, everybody, are we ready to start? So, Coco, what is the first step? Okay, so um, the first step is to make like the base here. The uh -huh. step, this is called the sole. So you can. You sh I suggest that you use like a hard material, like find a hard material. Right. Um, and you can trace like around your foot or you can just uh, grab, a shoe. Grab, a you have. grab a shoe and draw. So you guys, if you're making along with us, you can just grab a pair of scissors and a box. If you don't have box, you can like just find some harder paper or cardboard and then start drawing the outline of your foot and or your shoe and then you can start cutting it so we we'll just do along with everybody and then so if you're joining us in making your sneaker sculpture you can do at your own pace but we'll just keep going okay so Coco could share with us like after which step is what and then um, you know, you can share, you can learn from her, like how she did it. This part is tricky, I'm gonna use a pen knife. Be very careful when you use pen knife, it's like super sharp. And I've got a cutting mat, so I've got a cutting mat. And do it. So, so what's the next step after we cut out this sole? Um, so once you've got this sole... Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, very comfortably. So you see this yeah. shoe over here, right? Yes, so, everybody. Um, is you already have this part. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to 
have something like you can have a cardboard, um, something like hard to for the heel here. Okay. Here, and you can tape it to like the sole using masking tape. Okay. Yeah, secure it in some way. Heel, right? Okay. Yeah. So how? What are some ways to make the heel? Um. Well, if you want to use cardboard, you can like curve it. Right. So it needs to be curved, right? And yeah, it needs to be round. Feel, yeah, there's a lot of curving in yes. here. <laughs> because it's all round. Yeah. So like if you don't have cardboard, you can just use paper, right? Or whatever. Plastic. Yeah, you can use paper. Um yeah. Okay. Yes. This is taking longer than I expected. <laughs> I think I got a pointed shoe. <laughs> got it. <sighs> well, after you, after we made this, right, the last one, I, I put it on and I walked around it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it actually held. So this green color is very strong, it's painter's tape. Oh. And it just made a very weird sound, like squeak, 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 when I walked, but Otherwise, it held together. So that's quite amazing. So I think if you have a very strong tape, um, yeah, but I don't know if you like walk around all day, <laughs> what happened? Probably like the paper part will give way. You step on water. <laughs> oh yeah, I know like it's when it rains, it'll be like, <laughs> it will dissolve. <laughs> yeah, not with the sole, only the sole. Because this, I think this is quite rigid. Okay, I'm gonna take mine together. So my 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 soul uh is very out of cut out of a very very thin cardboard. So I cut two layers and I'm gonna stick them together like when I did the other side. So in case you guys have like thin cardboard, something you can do. <sighs> I went that iron craft in like ten years. What do you even mean? Sorry? Huh? Huh? What? You haven't done art and craft in 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always sometimes start. Like Wendy, I just got I just infected Wendy <laughs> with the craft bug. She just started doing crochet. Oh. Ah, this is like busy crochet. And then she's left-handed, so I told her. I sent her some videos which are like for left-handers. So she's so excited. She's like, wow, I haven't done craft in like forever. So that's like um next week's meet Nick meet and Nick. So do I make two pairs like that? Oh really... yes. You can. And that is a very clever thing to do. To do both at the same time because then it's more likely you're gonna do I, I don't think i can make another side of this because <laughs> I, I can't remember what i did so it's good to do both at the same time then you can have matchy matchy but you know we had this conversation before right coco so sometimes like certain shoe designs the left side and the right side are not the same exactly the same but they look like they belong together, kind of. Some, sometimes there's certain designs that on the left foot is a different pattern than on the right, but maybe the color is the same or something the same. Do you have a pair of shoes that's like that, Coco? Uh, not... Not really, yeah. Uh. Mm. Maybe... Like, the ones that I made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The artistic one, right? Yeah. Your sister wear it? Um, yeah, but she only, I think she only wore it once, so... Uh, too precious to wear. <laughs> yeah, but she said it's quite comfortable. Yay! That's so great to hear! I think the best part for me is like when you make a wearable thing, whether it's hats or shoes, it's like the person said it's so comfortable, you know? Yeah. Oh, Kush, have you cut, have you cut both sides already? Left foot and right foot? Okay, good job! Okay, so... <laughs> We are going to make the heel, right? So, 
I'm just looking at what I have in front of me and how I'm gonna make it cool. So I got a lot of like all these curve, like long pieces, maybe like curve it and become the heel part. Not sure yet. So I got like a whole shoe if it's this is very boring. So I have this like vitamin C packaging. It's not quite shiny, can be quite nice. So I'm gonna cut it. And then some more got left side and right side. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this. Because I thought the last one was this was a lot of recycled craft material from BB Stock, but it looks like it's new. So I try to use like a upcycle packaging material this time. Coco, what are you using this time? Is it like other boxes you got? Um I'm trying to do plastic. Oh, plastic. oh that would be so nice. Yeah. But um yeah, so another thing uh you guys can do is not just to cover the heel but if you have like a long piece of cardboard or like paper you can just cover like the whole thing oh yeah, until the toe like the toe has so meaning yeah, you can cover everything so meaning from here all the way to yeah here. yeah uh, it can be a long part rather than just cover the heel yeah it might be difficult because you have to control like a long strip yeah, this is a good like, example yeah. so like you can just do like up to the pink part that means this curve this way or you can do like from the yellow part to the pink part to the other side the yellow part this one piece for example okay so gotta do the heel otherwise your heel will fall off the shoe I'm still trying to get both sides to be the same. It's challenging. This is, this is not very sharp. <laughs> Deborah, are you doing, Deborah? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Must come out of your craft retirement. <laughs> Early retirement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I stick it this way? Okay. The other side of the table. So Coco, are you doing the toe? Are we doing the toe now? Uh, yeah. I so did after the heel and the side. Then you are doing the toe bit, right? Uh, oh no, not not. I haven't reached the toe yet. Right. <laughs> the toes are tricky. Yes. Everyone, the toe you have to like curve this way and it curves this way, this way and this way. So you have to make like. Like kind of make the the paper or whatever is used a curve this way, and then you have to make another curve this way. So you have to figure out for yourself like how you're gonna make the toe. So the toe is like a molded part. It needs to go around all your toes, like contain all the toes, and stop them from falling off the shoe. So it's a little bit tricky. You need to think a little bit. I don't know if it'll work, but I think I'm gonna use like aluminium foil. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think you have a nice look. Are you using aluminium foil to make the toe or which part? Yeah, the toe. Cool. It's clever. So you can mold it, right? Yeah. I'm struggling with the toe today. I don't know. Maybe I don't need the toe. Oh? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try this time. Show us what you're doing so far. 
Oh, so are you going to... Yeah, maybe the plastic can wrap around. Yeah, I, I think it can go inside here because like, I tied the plastic here as a knot. Oh, I see, I see. And, um, there's a gap like below. Yeah. yeah. We probably need something harder inside the plastic to kind of... Yeah. Some shape or like some structure. I realized the conclusion is my cardboard's not long enough. What can I do? Oh, um, you can attach. I join it. Join, 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 join. With masking. Which part are you at? Oh, that is actually quite space age. Do you put the aluminum inside it? Yeah. Nice. Space age. Designing shoes. I think last last year or last year. Not not so long ago. Like when do you start your Instagram? Yeah, that yeah, that should be um beginning of twenty twenty or twenty nineteen. All the brands are doing sneakers now. I just saw Dior's. It's crazy. They just did their runway show in like Greece, in this arena in, from Greek times. Oh man. Yeah, the shoes are like, what? They're all wearing sneakers with Grecian clothes, like Grecian gowns. <laughs> oh. Face age. Yes, wow, this is so cool. Yep. Did you, did you make a shoe? Wow, transparent shoe. Inside, that's like silver foil. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. Like the Tron shoes. <gasps> Tron, I love Tron. Yeah, yeah, you just need to add LED lights. It'll be Tron already. You know the blue, blue electric yes. LED lights? Love. I think Helen Kirkham is so amused by what we're doing, Coco. <laughs> She's like, wow, these people were so taken up by what I did. I'll reach out to her when we have all our photos. She's a shoe designer who inspired this workshop. Hey, Coco, you want to show, like, Eli what you did to the sole the other time? You, you, and, oh no, that was, that was Jasmine. She stick us another piece of something, right? Yeah, so you can stick other stuff below, like when it's the kind of similar to um his sneaker, like the one that just moved it. Yeah. The color scheme. Yeah. I don't think I can make a pair. <laughs> I have time for that. Yes, it's challenging, okay? So I like know. what Eli did is actually quite challenging. It's not easy. The only person so far who has said it's easy is Eli. It was easy until I had to mirror for the other side. I'm like, yep. That's why you need a 3D scanner. <laughs> <laughs> 3D okay. scanner is going to help you. Yeah. You yeah, huh? yeah. The 3D scanner is what? Like, you can just run on tablet one, is it? You can run on phone, you can run on tablet. Yeah, but after that, you have to do a lot of manual touching up. Yeah. Right, Ken? Because the Sony one is actually quite good. The Sony one. Oh, is it? But there's a little bit of AI involved because some parts, no matter yeah. how you scan, right, there'll be some missing info. You yeah, definitely. Manually, yeah. That one is like, uh, not so you easy. Need, you, you, you need a perfect 
you need perfect solution, uh, a perfect um, a perfect environment to get a, a good scan. It's not it easy. It never happens. Yeah. So yeah. Seth was telling me that he spent yeah. a lot of time having to touch up the files, the people scan, the three D thing, and run and print. Right. There's a lot of missing data. Yeah. So there's correct. Gaps. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean, right? Mm. Yeah. It's it's not not really there yet. Okay, my shoe can only take photo from one side. It's an Instagram shoe. It only looks good from one side. It only looks good from one particular angle. Yeah. Only one angle. <laughs> Don't even go 45 degrees. Do no, 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 there's no degrees. There's just one angle. <laughs> Zero degrees for <laughs> time. What should I do for here to the front and all? Like, like what should I do? Um. Okay, so uh, you once you do the heel, uh, wait. <laughs> So like, for an actual sneaker, right? Mm. So you have the heel here. So you kind of have to connect it here. And then, um, not like this. Maybe like have like a toe, something like this. Oh, yeah. So you do the heel, you do the toe, and then you have this connecting length in the middle. Mm, got it. Yeah. Got it. So Coco, you want to give her, uh, you want to give Suryan any tips on making the toe? Uh, the toe, um, Maybe sh you should use like a hard material, but something that you can bend easily. Cause um, the toe, you really need a curve there. Or um, like the bend. one that I did now, um, I didn't. I don't actually have the toe. You can just like, how do you say Like, just have it like that. Cause oh. you know some shoes don't have the toe. They just like cover it up, and that's all. Yeah. So for for this, I connected the whole thing, so like as one piece. But you have to connect it in some way, yeah. Like cover it up the sides, yeah. If you want to do it efficiently, um, you can just like kind of strap it around, like maybe use like a something like that, and like you know cover it up from the top. I think I'm done. I don't know. Did you see? Oh yeah, I like the strap thing over. That's like a can be like a. Trying it looks like you have a shoe inside, you know, like you have a shoe and it's a silhouette. Yeah, shoe. Yeah. It's quite. Heck, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. yeah, I mean the the part the strap part could be like a velcro thing. Yeah, I I use those um. The one that I was tying just now, like I use these strings, so like oh, all right. I tied around, I tied the string around like a, this. Oh wait, oh can you hold that up? Uh, like that, and um, I went in like rounds. Right. Oh wow, that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was struggling just now. Oh, I see. You were struggling in silence. <laughs> and I have um just like. Suggestion like do yes. you think I should have a toe like that or no? Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so can I see it with the toe? Oh, oh. I don't know. Like I, yes. I love things that are shiny, so I would go for the toe. Yes. So, bling, like wow, this shoe. Yes. Yeah. Then it's a contrast. Otherwise, it's like a lot of the same thing for the whole shoe. I didn't tape everything together. I stapled everything together. What? Can you bring it to the screen so that I can show everybody? So like, I do a little bit of stapling at the bottom, and then oh. I do a little bit of taping. Wow. And then I like, the top and it. Yeah. Why am I touching? Wow. You know that what you did is like what shoemakers using leather do. They kind of like nail this thing that look like staple into the shoe. Oh, Coco, you know it's amazing. Yeah, and the and the shape is so. I didn't really see just now because it's very small, but yeah, the whole it's shape. So well done. It should be quite comfortable, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very comfortable. Yeah. Just look at the inside. Look at the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Is so awesome. awesome. You know, you just stick a rubber sole at the outsole at the bottom. Okay. Or, you know, I, when I give you one of these things, Eli, Eli, 
Eli. Huh? Look. Yes. You better get one of these things. Then you stick uh-huh. your shoe right? The one that you did. You can legit okay. okay. It's a real. Okay. You want to become a shoe designer? <laughs> it's like Eli brand. I am actually going to do it. I got the silver bear back. Is he done? done? E- yeah, he's done. He's done? He's done? Yeah. Then you want to show us? His shoes like sandals. He's making sandals. It's sandals? Can I see? You can, you can, I can see a corner of you. Look at your sandals. Maybe I can put my shoes in this shoe box. Nice! Can you create a brand, like an Eli brand shoe, some brand name? Mm. You can put it on the shoe box. And that shoe fits perfectly. <gasps> Everybody, can we just appreciate this for a moment? That's your job. Oh, and submit to Vivi Boom, okay? With the shoe box. So yeah, nice. Yeah, put your brand name inside. Hey, I know you can put your, your brand on the shoe, like the inside of the shoe. Uh, inside, I thought I put it outside. Maybe inside, yeah. Um, how do I need these seven stars? Seven stars? Mm-hmm. These seven stars? Can you tell us the yeah. story of why it's seven stars? Like Maybe stars. because I took seven <laughs> hours to make this shoe. You took seven hours, man? Hello, this video is being recorded right now and it's not even three hours. <laughs> okay, okay, including your preparation, research time. <laughs> Maybe seven hours. Oh, so the oh, shoe. Maybe seven minutes. Seven minutes. I think seven minutes. No, yeah. you think more than seven minutes. Seven minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you gotta come seven up with something. Seven minutes sleeper. How about? Seven minutes can make sleepers for him. Yeah, create a label, right? Can say the price yes. and then everything, yes. and then from who, and then from there, put it at the bottom. Yes, 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 yes. How much do I sell? Yes, how much do you sell? <laughs> okay, so if it's one minute, I'll pay for seven dollars. And if it's seven hours, I'll pay for seven hundred dollars. You one minute pay seven dollars, uh? whoa. <laughs> a good price, okay. everybody. How about I sell this at forty dollars? For today's uh we worked on um a 3D sneaker. Mm-hmm. So um for this competition um you uh, have had it. uh design i mean design uh there will be three kinds of sneakers so you have to choose one and design the sneaker in any way that you want you can so okay. you can paste things or color it or whatever ah. that you can think of you're designing the sneaker you have to answer these questions Okay. At the back okay. of the board. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Then. And then hand it in to the ABB boom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and submit then. It as a project. Yeah. These Design are space. some of my. Design. Second one looks like space. Yeah. yeah. I designed this with my friend. The third one looks like war. War. <laughs> war. Okay. Okay. The fourth one looks like some kid drew it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually. Pasted paper scraps on this. So like oh, wow. color the paper and then attach it to another piece of paper. This one I also use hot glue. You can research uh but try not to copy other people. Yeah, not try not to no copying of yeah, other people. Yeah, but like you can get inspiration. Yeah. If you participate in it, then you will have get a shoe bag. And then the three winners would get the black one, a different bag. The winner of the overall competition will get the mystery prize. It's an awesome mystery prize. <laughs> Thank you, Coco. Do you have any parting words for everybody? What are you expecting to see from your design? Or what words of encouragement do you have? Thank you for participating. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this workshop and hope to explore more <laughs> on my passions and stuff. So um, I hope you will too. I Yay! Guess.
Okay, thank you so much. You have inspired Eli to start his own shoe brand. Immediately got logo, everything ready. Well done. Okay, thank you, everybody.